Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be making these really cute pacifier clips. Now this is actually the second tutorial on this channel for pacifier clips, but that video is so old and so bad so I thought I would redo it and of course as always the measurements are over at the blog which will be in the description box below or the comment section and I'm also going to be giving these two pacifier clips away so if you're interested in that I'll be doing that over on my TikTok which is at charmed by ash so let's just get straight into the tutorial so you don't need very much to make a pacifier clip all you need is a little piece of fabric this is a cotton fabric Fabric. I just got this over at um, Michael's or Walmart. They have little fat quarters. You can buy little square pieces of fabric. So I just got a really cute print. I'm putting a medium weight interfacing on the back. Interfacing is a product that adds stability to your fabric. So because it's a cotton, cotton tends to be a little bit flimsy. So to make sure that I get a nice crisp iron when I do my ironing and everything I like to use this if you're using a heavier weight fabric a thicker fabric then you can totally skip this altogether um, I'm going to be using a suspender clip a metal one there are many different variations and designs of suspender clips but um, the general rule is is one that has little teeth so that you can clip it onto something and then I'm going to be using a little piece of this silky cord and you can really use anything you want if you want to use a thin ribbon um, this silky cord is actually found in the kids crafting section or a jewelry section at Michael's and um, I've used this and I've had other people use my pacifier clips with this and it has held up very well so I really like this product they have many different colors this one is quite bright but they do definitely come in all sorts of colors and I really like how it's soft also so the first thing I'm going to do is heat up my iron and I'm going to give this a good press make sure it's nice and flat and then I'm going to put my interfacing on the back the interfacing has sort of a rough backing to it and that's the glue so when you put it down with the glue side on the wrong side of the fabric um, it's going to melt when you apply your heat. I like to iron from the right side of the fabric. Um, I just find that it doesn't really work well with my iron, but every interfacing is different. This is just a regular like medium weight. It's from a company called Pellon, so you can find that at your local craft store. So once you think your glue is melted, then you can go on to start ironing it into the strap. So it's very simple. All you're going to do is you're going to fold down the short ends about a quarter of an inch and we're going to press that. Then we're going to do the other side. Now if you have a better way of folding this then it is, you know, your choice. But this is what I've done for a long time and I really like the finished product that it gives. So I'm just folding it in half length ways. And then I'm going to fold, open it up, fold it in so that the raw edge meets that center crease. I'm trying not to iron out the side creases. I'm going to flip that and I'm going to fold in the other raw edge so that it lines up with the center crease again. I'm just going to use my little tailor's clapper. So now I'm just going to fold those side edges in again and then fold it the way it was with the long edges into the center. If you want to just kind of get some clips and then we're going to be folding it again in half like that. 
just going to put a clip on the end and then I'll do the other side. And then folding it. And if you pay attention to how you cut your fabric, um, you can sort of try to line up cute little sayings like this one says follow your dream so it kind of lines up perfectly so you can actually see it once the clip is constructed but this is pretty much all you're going to need to do to create the strap for your pacifier clip very simple and if you're making many of these you could even cut longer strips fold it all, iron it all, and then just cut what you need and then just fold in those edges. So if you are doing batch sewing, then it's really easy to be able to hack this. So I'm just trying to make sure that the fabric is like folded in well because I don't want to, I want to make sure that the edge is nice and crisp. And with that interfacing, it really helps to make those creases nice and sharp. Okay, so now we're just going to go to the sewing machine. I'm going to bring my little silky cord and my suspender clip. Um, I am going to singe off the edges. This doesn't fray a ton, but it does create sort of a hard plastic kind of cap on the end. So if for some reason it started to come out of the seams, that little plastic part will kind of prevent it from coming out further. Um, but we're gonna sew it really good inside of it, so hopefully it uh, will all stay together. Okay, so now we're going to sew it all together. So what we're gonna do is if you have a directional print, we're going to go from the top and we're going to take the two ends of our little cord and we're just going to stick those in to the end. And then I'm just going to sew all the way around the whole thing. When I get to the cord, I'm going to back tack a bunch just to make sure that that is nice and tight and um, doesn't come out. So we're just doing a top stitch. We have that you can give it a good tug make sure it's nice and secure and then we're going to put on the suspender clip so I want the suspender clip to lay um, the nicest side so this has the little so I'm just gonna put it through and then I'm just gonna fold it And once I fold it, I'm going to make sure it's lined up nicely. And then I'm just going to do a box or a box with an X in it um, or just a line. It just depends on what you think looks the cutest. If you do an X, I'm just going to go across um, now this way
this to be really secure. And because I'm using a matching thread, you're not going to really see it. Okay. All right, so here it is. It's all done and it is so cute. I absolutely love this one. I've made many pacifier clips, but this one really is the most adorable one that I have made so far. So we have the suspender clip right here and then we have the loop and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you a little run through of how that works. Um, most pacifiers have a handle, but some don't, like the ones that you get from the hospital, you know, the green ones. Um, so if they don't have a handle, they most likely have a little hole. So I, that's why I like these. You can put this on the handle, but if you don't have a handle, then you can just stick that through the hole and then you just put the pacifier or the uh, suspender clip through that and that's just going to secure that nicely onto your pacifier and you can use that for your toys or for cups or for whatever you don't want to fall on the floor so I'm super happy with that I went ahead and made a second one um, there will be a PDF pattern available over on the patreon so if you're not already following me over there um, with a support on patreon all of my patterns are for free over there um, so those links are in the description box I will be giving away these two over on my TikTok. Um, so follow at charmed by ash on tiktok and then find the video and then all you need to do is like it and comment and then you'll be entered in to win these super cute pacifier clips so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, if you did give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and i will see you guys in my next tutorial bye guys